What's up and welcome back to an all new episode of Interview Nugs. I'm your host, ADC, and today we're joined by the recording artist, JJ Lee. How are you doing today, JJ? And are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling great. Um, this is definitely a blessing. Like, you know, first starting, I, it's kind of crazy that we interview right now. Like, that, it, it seems like a fun thing to do. So I'm pretty hyped. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy, like, watching, like, it on YouTube. Now I'm out here, so. I'm like, that's sweet. That's sweet. I like the <laughs> excitement and we're ready to go. Let's jump into this sir. first question. Okay. How many holes are in a straw? Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> These <laughs> questions. Dang, that's that's so tough, right? Because it depends on what you call a hole. Um, if I had to think about this, right? I'd say, like. Like you could see holes like an entrance into something, right? In that case, it's two. Or you could see holes just like a gap, right? Empty space. So I'm going to have to go. And I, I personally, I would say I'm on the side of seeing holes like empty space, right? So I'd say one, which is trippy, but I think it's one hole. Yeah. Okay, cool. No right or wrong <laughs> answers. I just, it's cool that you can see that there's different perspectives and like you can see that there can be multiple answers. So. But definitively, oh, yeah. but definitively for you, it's it's one. So yeah, that's my personal conviction. <laughs> yeah. All right, this next one. What would you attribute your success to? Oh, success. Um, hmm. Success. And I, I guess that like def- depends on how you define success, right? Um, I mean, I'd say first of all, it's like friends and family. You know. Um, I'm very blessed to have, you know, very loving parents and very supportive friends. Um, so just like, you know, throughout high school, um, they've always just been there for me. I've had a lot of people just pour into me and care about me. Um, and that's really developed me into the person I am today. So I'd say like, yeah, my mom, my dad, um, just and all these like, all like the upperclassmen I had in high school supported me, all the friends by my side. Um, and then it, in terms of music, I'd say people who've listened to it, and showing a lot of love. Shout out to Outcast. He's like, he shows so much love and it's very encouraging. Um, and if we're gonna talk about a, bri- a broader, deeper life thing, um, I'm a Christian. So I'd say like, I would attribute my success to God at the end of the day, all my blessings come from him. Um, and I'd see success as just living a life where I'm walking with him, so yeah. I like that, you like covered all the bases, your community, <laughs> yeah. your, your school, your upbringing and all of this and mm-hmm. higher power and all of that. And yeah. I like that, I like that. It's kind of like you, 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 like I said, you covered all the bases, I like that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, this next question is a little deep. How okay. do you deal with fear? Oh boy, yeah, that's, yeah, fear has definitely um, been relevant, you know? especially, you know, going to college for the first time, like there's a lot of new things going on, especially like meeting new people, um, being afraid of classes and everything. Um, I'd say like to deal with fear, um, hmm. I try to like think about, you know, past times where I have overcome fear and just be like, okay, if you're able to do it in the past, you know, you can do it now. I'd say like praying really helps me a lot. Um, just be like, hey, God, I'm scared, but I just pray you'll give me the strength to do this. I can't do it on my own, you know? Um, so I would say, like, that's always been the thing that helps me. Um, of course, like, encouragement from, like, other people as well. Yeah. Cool. I like it. It's a very, very well thought out answer. All right, this, <laughs> Thank you. This, uh, this next question is, mm-hmm. what moment or moments that you can share had the greatest impact on your life? And what lesson could we take away from them? Yo, this is a deep question. We're from holes in the straw. <laughs> um, shoot, I had to. I got. I, I got to rewind everything and think about that. Um, dang, most deep impact or the most impactful moment. Ah, oh, that's a, that's that's a tough one. And um, I always I always forget to like mention this in the beginning of inter- interviews. But if you if you want to like hold this off until the end, and then come back to it if you want to think about it a little more. We can do that. That's an option. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, let's think about that, I guess. <laughs> All right. I'm going to just yeah. mark this one here and save mm-hmm. it for later. All right. Let's jump to this next question. If you could know the complete and honest truth to one question, 
what would you ask? Dang, so deep. Completely honest. How many holes are there in a straw? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, dang, complete honest truth. One question, what would you ask? Um, I'd say like, oh man, that's so tough. Um, deep on, okay. Right. I just need a couple of seconds. Let's think about this. Um, hmm. Um, I guess it's like, yeah, this is off the top of my head, you know, what makes like certain people like impactful, I would say, like, what kind of like, thing do they have that makes them be able to really make a difference, you know, in people's lives in the world, I would say, yeah. So is this like a question, like in general, mm -hmm. like what, what do people possess? Or is it a specific person that you're asking what they possess? Or? Uh, I, th I think just like in general, like I think what does it take to be someone that like is able to kind of break out of the natural way that everyone acts and they're like, okay, like if this, there's like something that, you know, is going on. There's just broken people. There's need in this world. I'm going to be willing to like step up and, you know, make a difference. I would say like what drives people to like really make a difference, I would say. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. That's the first thing that comes to my mind. I like that's a unique answer. That's the first time I've heard that uh, answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I really like that one. Yeah. Like what makes what makes someone have mm -hmm. their drive, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um obviously like a lot of philosophical stuff I could say, like is there heaven and, and all that. But I think like for me, like being in my faith, like I feel like I've found answers that work for me to a lot of those questions. So but yeah, other than that, that's my uh, that's my question. I dig it. I dig it. All right, this next one's more lighthearted, not not a deep, <laughs> one, not a philosophical okay. one. What is your earliest memory? Um, earliest memory? Oh, you know, so I'd say like I have this really vague memory of me eating lemons when I was like <laughs> three years old, um, and we have this like home video. I don't know why I just like lemons, so like I would like cut it in half and. I literally just like lick like the inside of it. I like the sour for some reason. Um, so we had this like home video where I'm just like eating it and I'm just immersed in it. Um, and I didn't really know English at the time. And so I was just muttering gibberish. Like my dad was asking me, do you like the lemon? I just had whole sentences in like another language, which is pretty crazy. <laughs> but uh, so that's like one of my favorite home videos. Uh, but I, it's crazy because I do, I have this image in my head like of me holding like a lemon, yeah. That's crazy. It's funny when you see like videos of like babies having a full on conversation. It's like they're not yeah. saying anything, but <laughs> they're saying something. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a whole other world. Man. <laughs> All right. I guess your dad knew what you were saying. I guess, you know, he could he could understand. Yeah. you. So. <laughs> All right. Let's do another lighthearted one. If you had mm. to be an animal, which animal would you pick? Oh, yeah. Um, hmm. That's a good question. If I had to be an animal, which one? Um, hmm. let's, let's see. Let's see. You know, I, I feel like birds are kind of OP, not going to lie. Like they could just they could fly. And so I feel like that would be just really good. Like if there's like a tsunami or something like they can just fly or like, you know, I feel like they're safer from other kinds of predators in the wild. So I'd say birds. They're pretty OP. So. Any specific bird that you would pick or just any bird? Oh, hmm. I guess that comes down to what birds are really cool. I'd probably say falcon because like that's like a superhero for Marvel. So falcon, yeah. <laughs> so you want to be the predator out there. All right. I see. <laughs> okay. This next one is who or what are your influences? Oh, okay. Um, just like in general, musically. Or I could probably. Uh, I'll take both if you if you got yeah. musical influences and you got general life influences. I'll take both. Got you, got you. Um, I'd say like, um, in terms of like music, I'm really influenced by artists like Twenty Four K Golden, Post Malone, Kid Leroy. Um, I think what they are really good at doing is coming up with melodies, and I will like kind of. I only watch them recording in the studio or like listen to their demos and just the way that they like mumble melodies. Like that's how they start off. And that's how I like to record too. Um, so I just think that's like really cool. Like they really know how to make really catchy stuff. And then also like 
do any kind of genre. Like they're both, they're, all three of them are just like super versatile. Uh, Lil Nas X, he's also really good. He hasn't like had too many songs out right now, but like I see like a lot of like demos online that they post. I'm like, this guy is super good at coming up with melodies and has so many different kinds of songs. So those are the people I look up to. Like I, I'm, I really appreciate melodies and I also like it when artists are versatile. Um, and then I'd say like a life influence, you know, uh, my mom is very influential. She's just taught me um, so many like good values has been very encouraging to me. Um, just like telling me how to be like a better person, uh, very influential and in bringing me up in faith as well. And then my dad is also very influential in the terms of like the stuff that I got into, like hobbies, like just kind of like the things I'm into, like whether it's like watching Marvel movies or appreciating music. Um, and he's also like really good at building confidence within me. A lot of my confidence comes from just a lot of the courage and things that he said, so. I like yeah. it, I like it. <laughs> it's good to have have a good role models in your parents because it's like they're so, they have that close relationship with you. So I like that answer. For the goats. All right, what is a secret that you wish to share that could improve the lives of other people watching? Um, hmm. And let me just say, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily have to be a secret. It could just be something that you do that you see that could improve like yeah. other people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Let's see. Um, that could really improve the lives of people. Okay. I don't want to like sound like a pastor, like too preachy, um, but I'd say like something that I've like put my faith in that has helped me so much in life is like, Jesus loves you, you know? I think um, in terms of like religions and, and Christianity especially, I think it kind of gets a bad rap in terms of people thinking like, oh, it's uh, just people who try to like not do certain things in order to be approved and they think that they're better than other people, right? Um, but I'd say like, that's a big misconception. I think a lot of Christianity is about like admitting that you're a broken person and that you don't always get things right um, and that you need outside help. And I'd say for me, like believing in Jesus has set me free a lot from just like feeling guilt, shame and, and self-hate. And that's really just given me a lot of, you know, strength in life. And like I was saying earlier about fear, right? Like he helps me overcome fear, gives me drive and purpose. So I'd say like, you know, um, give him a chance, you know, I would say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus is your homeboy. Give him a chance. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get to this next. Where am I at? Secret. Okay. When you're feeling sad, mm -hmm. what do you do to make yourself feel happy or at the least not feel sad anymore? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good questions. Um, <clears throat> I think one thing is like being in the company of friends, you know, that's such like a um, strong force for me. I would say like um, whether it's like going to school or church or something, I can be in like a bad mood, you know, just really down and um, my friends can just be so like energetic and happy, you know, and just lift my mood instantly, you know. Um, so I'd say like friends, music, that's something, you know, that I always like, I always love music. Um, I think it really has a way of like laying out your emotions for you. I love it when you can hear a song and it's like you listen to lyrics and stuff. It's like, that's what I'm going through, you know? So I think music's a company thing. Yeah. Great answers. I, I like the yeah. company of friends and community and then music. I'm an artist as well. So music. That's fire. Well. <laughs> All right. This next one is, what is your go-to meal? Go-to meal. Oh, huh? okay. Um, I, I got to say like, this has been consistently good, like a Five Guys burgers with Cajun fries um, or Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. Yeah. So fire. Simple <laughs> what, what, and delicious. What toppings do you get? Oh, boy. <laughs> You're going to think I'm weird, but like for Five Guys, um, I just get ketchup and tomato. I'm a simple guy. <laughs> I get cheese, ketchup and tomato. Do I don't necessarily know why. I just that's just what I've done my whole life. I mean, I can have lettuce and stuff, but. I don't know. I'm I'm a simple guy. <laughs> that's just yeah, simple stuff. <laughs> you said five guys, and I thought you were gonna be like, oh, I get mushrooms and bacon <laughs> and this. And I thought you were gonna go all out, but then you hit me with the the ketchup and the tomatoes. 
<laughs> hey, whatever yeah. floats your boat. I'm not judging anybody. Uh-huh. Do your thing. Do your thing. Mm-hmm. All right. This next. Oh, what, what's your favorite sauce at Chick Fil A? Chick Fil A sauce. So okay. good. There yeah. we go. That's that's the right answer. That's <laughs> they know what they're doing. All right. This next one, another lighthearted one. Where mm-hmm. is your favorite place? Where's my favorite place? Um, I would say Universal um, Orlando. So it's like it's like the resort where they have like Harry Potter, like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Um, like they have like amusement park for like Marvel, which is really cool. Because um, I'm a I'm a big like movie fan, so um, that's like a place where I feel like you can really enter the worlds of all those like franchises that you like. It's just like the coolest thing. They have the coolest rides. Um, I remember like for the longest time when I was in like third grade, I wanted to go. And then my parents did like a surprise trip there. So it was like, I would say like one of the happiest moments of my life, like being there. It was, it's just, it's a beautiful place. So that's cool. Let's go to, yeah. go to the movie or go to the Universal Studios and escape life. Right. For sure. Yeah. All right. Where am I at? Okay. This next question is we're going to get back to the deep ones. Here we go. All right, bro. <laughs> what? What is a change you wish to see in the world? Oh, a change you wish to see in the world. This would be like so many things for this one, man. Um, change you wish to see in the world. I just think, um, hmm. more like, I don't know, it's probably a cliche, but just like more love and compassion, you know? Uh, I think there's a lot of like division. I feel like, um, and I think there's just like a lot of things people just can easily have a lot of animosity towards each other about, but I feel like there's always like ways you can kind of reconcile differences, you know? Um, and sometimes like when I notice like when I'm in situations where like people arguing, I kind of listen, I, I don't usually get in arguments that much, but I listen and I'm like, yo, I feel like you guys, are like, there are a lot of things you agree on, right. That you can kind of like find peace in, you know, and be able to like reconcile the things that you don't agree on. Like, I'm just like, you don't have to be arguing like this, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say is like, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I think if you have like differences, like you can always like reconcile them, I would say. Yeah. Okay. There's a follow-up to this question. Mm -hmm. It's what can you and I do to make this change happen? Oh, (laughs) yeah. um listen listen more listen try to understand people i'd say um be willing to like um you know you got I, there's like a saying you got like two ears one mouth so be willing to listen to people um hear what they got to say step into the world you know um and then you can kind of get the opportunity to say what you want to say you know it's funny my dad says that all the time he's oh for real <laughs> you got two you got two ears you got one mouth it's like shut up <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't put it like shut up but yeah <laughs> maybe listen more yeah. i, I kind of got a big mouth so it's for me mm-hmm. yeah shut up <laughs> <laughs> all right let's get to the mm-hmm. uh, i'm i'm eager to hear what your answer is going to be for this next question all right what is a superpower you wish you had? Oh, I, lo- I love superhero movies. So this is a fun question. Um, that's so that's a tough one. Omnipotence. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's like everything. <laughs> um, one superpower I wish to have. Um, hmm, let's think about this. I'd say like, hmm. Like super speed. Like I, I watched The Flash and like, middle school and that was like one of my favorite shows and it's just like even though like super realistically super speed would i hear it's like a really bad superpower to have because like you like burn up and stuff just physics but i'd say like okay if we're in a fictional world and i see we're speed there's so many things you can do you know um you can literally go back in time if you've seen the flash you can literally do that which is pretty cool um you could uh phase through objects you know so i feel like it's a very versatile superpower so Super speed. I'm I'm familiar with the series, so yeah, go back yeah. in time. And <laughs> what is it? The the speed force and going to different, yeah uh, yeah <laughs> different uh universes and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I can I can dig that answer. Mm-hmm. All right, we're gonna get back to the deep ones. 
Okay. How do you deal with anger? Anger. Hmm. Anger, bro. Yeah, that's like something, you know, I could do better in, I'd say. Um, you know, I'm trying to learn to be more appreciative because I think a lot of the reason we have anger is just because we expect things to be perfect, you know? Um, and so when things don't go away, we're like, yo, this isn't supposed to happen, but I think we got to accept things the way they are. So that's something I'm trying to work on. Um, that's a kind of like an overall thing, I would say, like just to learn, appreciate, accept things as they are. But I'd say in the moment, how I deal with anger, um, I think like being alone kind of helps. Um, I Or going like outside and walking, um, that's also kind of like a therapeutic thing. Sometimes I'd like, if like stuff was going on, you know, I just get my ripstick and just, you know, just go around in my driveway. driveway. All right, I dig it. It's uh that's a that's a common answer for people to say like uh doing like physical activity and like getting away and separating yourself. So it's a good answer. Oh, physical activity, bro. Yeah, I, I need to do more of that. <laughs> I do not know how to <laughs> but my brother tells me that's really good for, for anger and just mental health too. All right, let's get into this next one and this is the last of the interview questions, but we got that one question we're going to go back to. Oh, yeah. But this yeah. one, this one is, what made you get into what you do? Oh, music. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I think this this story starts right, in um, in ninth grade. So, we uh, have this um, for homecoming at our high school. We basically have like different competitions that each class does um, to kind of like show their spirit. And so one of the competitions was like making a video. So we wanted to make a music video and um, make our own original song to it. So there's a SoundCloud rapper at our school. Um, and uh, so, yeah, he was kind of like a legend already freshman year. So we're going to make a song with him. Uh, and at this time, I wasn't like, you know, rapping or anything like that or making music. I just had a mic that I used for gaming and GarageBand on my computer. And then because I was like planning homecoming, I had to be the one that like orchestrated the making of the song. And just like seeing that, it just looked really fun to me. I was like, wow, like this really looks like a fun hobby. Um, and so that kind of like stuck in my mind. And later throughout the year, I discovered type beats on YouTube. I discovered type beats. Um, and I was like, it was like the coolest thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this existed, you know? Because um, I think like making music, making songs is always like a fantasy thing for me. It's like, oh, that'd be cool if I could do that. But it doesn't really seem that plausible. Um, but once I found type beats, I was like, okay, I could just, you know, put this in GarageBand, record over it. And so I think for like a long period, I just listened to type beats on YouTube and just like, you know, I do my little like freestyles in my head on it. Um, and then just fantasize about like making albums and stuff. I literally like, like copy and paste links, put them in notes, documents, say, if I were to make an album, I would use these beats. And I was just like, fun. So it was, a lot of it was like fantasizing at first. And then sophomore year, we had to make a song, another song. This time I, I got on it. And um, that was like the first time I ever like, you know, uh, rapped or did a song or anything like that. And I was on GarageBand. I still use GarageBand to this day. Shout out GarageBand. <laughs> hey, shout out GarageBand. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then finally, uh, January 2019, that's kind of like when I finally took the initiative to start. I'd say like the, there were like two things that finally got me from like, thinking about it to actually doing it. So I think the first thing was um, I had like a friend in high school who also wanted to like start doing that. And so he like reached out to me he was like, what if we try that, like doing that together? Um, so it was really funny because like we made, our idea was to make like covers of songs. And so we meet up at lunch and I bring my mic and garage band. And this is before I even knew how to mix. And so we tried doing like a cover of Sicko Mode and it was, it was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. I was so off beat too. Like I tried to do Travis Scott's part. It was just, eh, it was really bad. Um, and that's uh, yeah, I, that's been deleted. But um, <laughs> uh, I didn't even finish it. But so, but that was kind of like the thing that got me like, okay, we're gonna actually try doing this. And then a second, um, have you heard like the holiday? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, that's right. He's like, I think he's like getting bigger, but. Not like completely like in there yet, but he's like um, rapper right now. He's been on Lyrical Lemonade, um, got some fire songs. But I found him pretty early on before like um, like he got on like Lyrical and stuff. 
um but like when I, I was listening to his music a lot and he's literally like a year older than me um made some really great songs that also inspired my style because he was also very melodic um but just like seeing someone that was like that close to my age who was like making music um and it just like seemed really fun um and he'd like go on instagram lives and stuff and i join and he'd just say say like inspiring stuff and so it kind of like just seeing him do his thing um inspired me to be like hey i want to actually try this too you know because this was like a time where i wasn't even sure what my passion in life was or like I, I didn't i wasn't really doing anything in my free time you know i was just watching youtube and stuff like i didn't really have any like important hobbies i'd say um but that kind of inspired me to be like yo what if i tried doing music and yeah so made my first song january 2019 um and it's been it's been great since so and you gave me like the whole origin story of yeah so it's a long long story yeah <laughs> yeah went, went from a fantasy in your head to actually doing it i think that's a, a lot of people have problems is that just starting mm. so like yeah. you jumping in and like recording in at lunch and stuff like that and <laughs> yeah. like you learned a lot from that like throwing all that away like learning like okay like you got to do different things and mm -hmm. You, you, yeah. A lot of lessons you you won't learn until you actually try them. So I sure. I like that. Deep stuff, man, for sure. All right, let's. What's the question that we skipped over? Oh, it's the what moment or moments that you can share had the greatest impact on your life, and what lesson can we take away from them? Hmm. Um. I'd say like. Hmm. Let's think about this. I think just like late middle school and high school were um, very formative experiences, I'd say. Um, I think just like growing as a person and, you know, growing in my faith. Um, so I like, you know, I think every year we'd have this thing called like a retreat. And it's basically you go for your church and you kind of like do like a three day sleepaway camp. And it was really fun. But those are always impactful for me because I kind of for like a couple of days got to just like escape the stresses of life. Um, I didn't have my phone, so I wasn't on like social media as much and getting distracted by that. Um, social media, bro, struggle, man. Like you can really like mess up your brain a lot. But and so I think just having those kind of things during this time where like, you know, high school, you're trying to figure out who you are. Right. And just like I learned a lot about like the love of God at those retreats, um, the unconditional love of God, you know, um, Jesus dying on the cross to forgive our sins, even though we didn't deserve it. Um, and just like, those are always just so impactful for me. And um, the, it would just became from something I always heard about to something that could actually apply to myself. I was like, wow, this is like a real thing for me. Um, and it just gave me a lot of hope in life um, and a lot of mission and drive because like, I think just before I always noticed like when I just didn't have, you know, I didn't have purpose. I didn't feel like that, you know, or I would just feel really empty, you know, and nothing would try to satisfy me. You know, I would always like think like, oh, if I was more popular, you know, I'll be happy inside. But I found that that was something I could never reach or never be satisfied in. Um, but having God, that satisfied me, I would say. And so I think we all go through um, that feeling of emptiness. We're trying to find stuff to fill our void. Um, and I'd say like what I learned from all that is like these material things aren't going to fill your void. There are a lot of things that are going to fail you, you know, um, but something outside yourself is, and something like God for me, he'll need, he'll need. Another lesson I'd say people learn is just uh, keep an open heart, you know, I'd say keep an open heart. Hope, even if you feel hope. So, Yeah. <laughs> I mean to come on your show and preach, but that's that's my life, man. <laughs> hey man, I'm not judging anybody. Yeah. Just, it's all good. It's, maybe you, you're gonna touch somebody's life out there that's watching. So oh, yeah, I hope so, man. All right. These next few these next two questions are just promotion for the show and a little bit of promotion for yourself. Oh, okay. So uh what do you have coming up? Is there anything that you want to plug or promote? Yeah, so my unreleased verse on Donda, um, I'm going to try to drop that soon, you know. Um, and then, you know, Jake, I, he got the Certified Lover Boy feature locked up, but I'm going to try to get that released. So, <laughs> just kidding. I wish I in, my dreams, <laughs> in my dreams, bro. In my dreams. Man, I, I don't really know at this point. I think like 
going to college has been a really big change and definitely been pretty busy. So I don't really um, kind of know like what songs I want to make, you know, because I finished like a project this past summer. I guess I can promote that in my fields for no reason on SoundCloud um, EP 10 songs. Uh, so be sure to check that out. Uh, so that was something I'm working on. So now it's like, I guess I'm just thinking about, you know, what should I make next? I don't really have any projects in mind. Uh, when I was like doing music, my whole process was kind of like, I'm going to make this project and work on it. But now I'm kind of at a point where I'll probably just be releasing singles for a while. Just like, hey, I feel like making this song. I'll make it and then drop it. Um, and just doing that whenever I have time. Um, I'd say eventually, though, um, I do want to like make an album that will be a lot more serious or just a lot like put actually a lot of work into it or thought into it um, and put that on like Spotify and everything. Uh, Cause I've had this like concept for an album for a while and that's kind of going over like the journey of my faith, I'd say. Uh, so I want to talk about that in the song and I haven't really touched upon that as much, but I think doing that would be really cool. And I kind of have to do it because I, I bought a lot of type beats that I haven't used yet. And I gotta get, you know, my money's worth and make this album. So that's going to be, you know, in the near future, um but yeah i mean other than that just like expect you know songs from time to time when i'm busy actually you know what there is a song i'm working on right now that i wasn't able to finish before i went to school um and i i like this song i i feel like it's gonna be good so i'm gonna drop that hopefully later this year or early next year um but yeah so there's like one single that i want to put on all streaming services that i'm pretty excited about so yeah all right i dig it just be on the mm -hmm. lookout for JJ Lee and all the mm -hmm. upcoming projects and check out what is it in my fields. Yeah. In my fields for no reason. For no reason. For sure. Yeah. All right. And then this last question is mm -hmm. who are some people that you wish to see on here on interview nugs? Interview nugs is open to anybody in any mm -hmm. field. It doesn't necessarily have to be a musician. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, by the way. Yeah. Thank you for doing this. I really appreciate it. I was able to get on the show. That's really cool. Thanks for reacting to the video. Really appreciate that. Um, I'd say, I'm trying to think of like all the artists I know. Um, there's a guy named Lil Daru. Um, or no, he's just Daru now. He got rid of the Lil. But uh, he's another uh, rapper that he went to my school. He's like a grade below me, but he's like super talented. He really knows like all the audio engineering stuff. Like he's a master at that. Um, super versatile too. Um, um, I just like remember like first time like me and him, I saw him as someone who had like a lot of drive when it came to music. Um, so I'd say he's pretty tough. Yeah, you should check him out. Also, big shout out to Outcast. I wouldn't be on this show without you. Um, like he encourages me so much in music, you know. Um, it takes like a lot of time, you know, doing, making songs. And I'm not like the biggest artist per se, you know, I'm not like making tons of money from streams, but I'd say like, I get so much satisfaction out of like the people, the people that really appreciate and enjoy it. Outcast is one of those people. Um, and then also he's got a great album coming up that he's working on. So yeah. Spring. Shout out to Outcast. We're waiting yes, for sir. Spring. Outcast. Yes, sir. Yes, <laughs> sir. Yeah. He's a good guy. Good guy. And then, um, mm. since you were also on Ear Nugs, the music video review. Are there any artists that have a music video? Maybe Daru has a music video. Anybody Bro, you can think of? Or Daru's got like an unreleased video that he's not dropping, man. <laughs> I wanted to drop it, but um, dang, uh, a music video. Don't I... be scared, Daru. Just put it out, man. Just <laughs> put uh, it out in the world. Dang, let's see. Um, I I, I can't really like think of anything right now like um i don't have like too many like artist friends that like have had music videos um i'd say like yeah i'm really more hip to the more like popular music videos i'd say like um if you know glaive have you heard of glaive i think so oh okay well he's fire yeah he's really fire and then yeah check out the holiday too it's spelled the holiday but the o is an x um and he's got some really cool stuff out too. So I'd say check out those two guys. Um, but yeah. Okay, sweet. I, if um, I always tell this to like um, any artist that comes on the show, if somebody hits you up and they're like, how could you forget me? And like something <laughs> like that, if just yeah. send me a message and I'll put their links in the description and yeah, mm -hmm. we'll just, we'll make sure that they get their proper promotion. <laughs> yeah, no, no worries, man. 
All right. That's the end of the show. I just want to say right. thank you to JJ Lee for being on the show. Um, look out Pleasure. for his uh, upcoming album. We don't know when it's going to come out. Uh, go check out In My Feels for no reason. Yes, sir. And go like, comment, subscribe on all of his mm. social medias and his YouTube and the SoundCloud. And uh, yeah, yes, we'll sir. catch everybody out there next time. Peace. Hey, peace out. Interview <laughs> nugs. We out here. <laughs>